so this is what happened. Um, let's see if I, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. Uh, the snap ring in here, which I can't really let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see it. Um, but the snap ring failed in here, and that caused this. Uh, that caused this to get loose in the shaft, which then caused the this uh, coupler to just start shaving all the metal off. So you can see that's not supposed to do that. So I'm able to the I'm able to turn the whole transmission, but it's not turning on this side. So uh, fortunately for me, I have replacement parts for this. Um, so I'm just going to swap them out. All right, so this is supposed to be locked in, but like I said, the, uh, it got, the, well, actually, yeah, see, not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, man, and I think the, oh, shoot, I think the, um, we'll have to see. It looks like the, uh, <sighs> looks like the flange bearing is done. Tech on it. Okay, so that's a uh, comparison of the shafts. This is the one that's in good shape. And this is the one that's all chewed up and jacked up. So, uh, pretty simple process. I mean, just going to put this back on. Just got to, you know, uh, just uh, take the flange bearing, which really needs to be replaced. Just put it on there. Put the snap ring in right there and uh, put it all back together. Got a replacement coupler. Um, yeah, because I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, this coupler is pretty chewed up on the inside too. So uh, fortunately we got that. Uh, this bearing, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Um, but uh, it'll work and I'll just get it replaced over the end of the season. So, just got to do that now. Okay, new snap ring is installed, so now it's time to put it all back together. So the assembly's back on, so now, if you turn one side, the whole thing turns as it should. So, so I just got to put this assembly back together and put it on, and it'll be good. All right, just like that, she's all back together, all uh, ready to go. The only other thing I got to do is... Uh, feel like the tensioner is not working appropriately, which uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but uh, that's the tensioner bolt. It slides on that slot, um, and uh, it's down there, and I just don't feel like it's properly tensioned. Uh, but honestly, I'm not sure, because... Um, I had noticed the mower was pulling to the left a lot, but uh, and I, I thought I wasn't sure what that was. I thought it was an issue with the adjustment in the um, in the controls. But uh, you know, once I realized that snap ring failed, I, I actually think that's what my issue was. Yep, this is the part that failed. Who would have thunk that a snap ring would fail after 20 years and taking it on off and on a couple times? <laughs> so. Uh, that be a lesson to you you know just replace your snap rings man i mean this was a five dollar kit from harbor freight and uh i mean this is the this is the snap ring that uh replaced it and uh yeah focus come on focus 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 all right it's not gonna do it but anyway you know, you can see just how much beefier the new, there you go. So you can see just how much beefier the new snap ring is compared to the old one. So honestly, I should probably replace the snap ring on the other side too. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Come on, man. So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, the uh, that bolt right there. Um, that's uh, the bolt that holds the uh, tensioner pulley in place and the washer on it failed and I removed the washer and I didn't replace it and I actually think that may have been a mistake so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remedy that now there we go so now we got that so things are uh, 
as they should be in there. Man, I really got to clean this machine. Maybe I'll actually do that this year. It is messy back here. Goodness gracious. Oh, well, I'm really glad I got that taken care of. Uh, this machine actually, the season winded down. I hadn't really been too pressed about uh, getting her fixed up, but uh, you know, really need to get that taken care of. So I'm glad I finally did that. And so while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just going to go ahead and lower it back down, and then I'll lift up the uh, deck, clean out the deck, sharpen the blades, grease all the points. Mm -hmm. Call it good.